no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, CJ Trudeau. No, this guy's a killer, though. Yeah, no, he's uh, really, really good. And he's he's Florida, like 14, right? 15. Yeah. Yeah, J uh, Jabaley out there always hypes this guy up, you know, a big supporter of him because he knows, like, you know, Jabaley's done so much for his Florida scene over there, too. And he really supports all the players and wants to see him do better. So uh, I, I love that. I love when, you know, a couple guys in the scene really take the helm and yeah. kind of just make stuff happen, you nurture, know? Nurture the scene. Right, less talking, more walking. I like to see that, man. Whether you agree with what he does or not, who cares, man? He's doing something. You're not, you know? But C CEO, there you go, he's sponsored by CEO, so CJ Truth. Yeah. First and is that Paramisery? Paramisery. This guy looks familiar. I, I I can't place his face. I don't know. But he is playing Zangief, and this is going to be a tough one for Zangief. Yeah, I, I don't think this Zangief has it too tough in this match, especially after the SPD buff. That's um, right. The range does actually oddly make this matchup a little better. But that's, oh wow, we went all the way. A lot of Fei Long players, uh, I notice, they like to do that early, is take the counter hit risk. Uh -huh. If anything, kind of like doing DPs early to scare people into wanting to retaliate versus your Rekkas later. Right on. Here we go. I know a lot of Fei Long players love to do uh, meaty command grabs versus Zangief in a corner. Yeah, that's actually something that a lot of players fail to realize is that Meaty grabs beat all of Zangief's yeah, pickup I mean, options. Yeah, like yes, outside to, of Ultra One. Yeah, he has to do some uh, really. Well, it'll beat Ultra One sometimes, so because it's not it's not grab invincible actually. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's that crouching fierce. That's gonna be getting mileage in this matchup. Yeah, and standing fierce if he ever decides to go to it for a different angle. Mm. Oh, there was no buffer there. He really needs. To, oh, big jump in. No combo. That's two big mistakes um, from Para Misery. Just do it. That was worth it. Yeah. Why not? He was, he, he was at like perfect flame kick range, but CJ Truth just scouted it. Too smart. He really needs to buffer the EXs. You have to have faith uh, in that standing low kick, because that's going to be your main poke for stay long. And that one, of course. <laughs> it, it knocks down on a counter hit, correct? EX? Yeah. It does. I, I like to see players kind of saving it and looking for the counter hit. Instead of going for, you know, the, the always buffer, because you don't get as much off of it now. You really don't now. It's like, it's almost a shame when you hit it now, because it's just like, that's it? Yeah. I could have saved my meter for something else. No, you're right. He's all the way back there. Yeah. But, I mean, especially when you have this many meters and you need Ooh. some damage. Uh-oh. Yeah, this could be big. He could dizzy up. One wow. more hit. How does wow. this guy have so much stun? Why is he not dizzy? Why is he not stunned? He must have used a medium punch head buff, right? I, maybe, but I didn't see his head grow. Like, you know when you do medium, his head, like, grows for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick, though. Parent Misery really just mauled him that round once yeah. he got him uh, in the corner. That neutral jump is, yeah, it's going to be good. Focus attack and neutral jump, just do him, you know? If anything, it makes the Fei Long player double guess what, he has, what he's doing. Yes. You, you take them out of that comfort zone. That's right. They can't rely on these same buttons anymore. Nice neutral jump roundhouse. That's going to be another good poke for Zangi. Whoa! That was a great read. Yeah. But again, you can see, uh, you know, CJ Truth, he's buffering those jabs into Rekkas and stuff. And part of Misery, I feel like, is not doing it. Yeah, he kind of fished for it right there, but... Nice tech. Oh, that's actually a sneaky thing you could do. After text in the corner with Zangief, you go immediately into SPDs. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't work, though. He's just trying to chip out. That is... I could have sworn that was at least minus two, so... CJ's showing a lot of matchup knowledge in this. Yeah, he is. He's playing great. Uh, you know, last time I saw him at uh, CEO, um, he played great there, too. So it's good to see him come all, you know, come all the way to here to Las Vegas. But, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, he's so young. He's done really well, but I think he's still waiting for that, like, huge breakout performance. I, I don't think the results yet really tell how good he is. Right. Uh, and, you know, it could, be, it could be this year. It could be two, three years from now. You just That's how Street Fighter is, you know. Uh, especially, you know, you got to look at Street Fighter in a long-term sense. Like, don't don't initially think the investment you put into it's going to pay off that year and you're going to be getting tournament wins. Look at every tournament, every experience, every match. is something that builds up into a bigger picture. Yeah. So, it's, you know, it's frustrating, but it's also, you know, part of the beauty of Street Fighter. Well, it's amazing to see how good CJ is here. Yeah, in such a short time that he's been playing Street Fighter, you know. Good job. Ooh. And he's one match away from uh, taking the set and putting Fair Misery into losers. Which I'm assuming this is winner's bracket action. Yeah. Oh, man. He's getting a little desperado with those command grabs. And CJ Truth is nailing him. Oh, that was a good read. Yeah. 
Get to use a Larry, uh, it's been a while. Good oh, back dash right he there. He knew exactly yeah. what was coming. Well, that's the answer to that setup. Oh, oh we got we him! Got it! Sky is protected. Aqua Self would be proud. <laughs> Here we go with the save jump setup. Yeah, he went for it. CJ shoot, jumped out of it. Nobody jumps out of that, man. Yeah, yeah. that was beautiful. It's nice. Such, yeah, that was good. He's actually using these lariats now. It's like a very well timed DP. Yeah. And he just. They might be able. Oh, nice. That was a good punish. That was a good punish. I respect that. Very nice. well played. Yeah, very classy finish, too. Oh, he's that. Uh, Paramizu looks a little disappointed. But uh, he thought all right. I mean, it's like you said, he was using it as a well-timed DP, but that's the risk you take. That's the risk you take, yeah. I mean, they're not all going to hit. <laughs> Definitely not.